Hello, I thought I would share one of my favorite spring books about the very hungry caterpillar. You guys ready? It's a good one. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. You guys see the egg? Right there. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Look at the sun. It's cute, huh? The sun is smiling. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still what? What do you think? Hungry. Oh my goodness. He just keeps eating and eating. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Oh my goodness. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Oh my goodness. Let's count together. Ready? One two, three, four, five. Five oranges, that's a lot. What do you think he's gonna eat tomorrow? Let's see. Oh my goodness, on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Now, what happens when we eat too many things, my friends, especially junk food? We get a what? What happens to our stomach? Yeah, we get a stomach ache. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh, my goodness. You think he's going to eat a lot tomorrow? What do you guys think? The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. He's taking a break from all those things, huh? Now, he wasn't a hungry caterpillar. Oh, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Oh my goodness, look how big he is, friends. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... <gasps> You guys remember what happens to caterpillars? They turn into what? <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly. Isn't that so cool? So caterpillars, they don't stay caterpillars. They turn into butterflies, right? Just like we don't stay babies, right? We're born babies and then we grow up and when we turn into adults, we slowly turn into adults. So that is the caterpillar. Uh, so friends, tomorrow I'm going to try and post an art activity to go with this. If you want to create a beautiful butterfly art piece, um, you can check out the video tomorrow. And I will see you later.